Hey guys, I'm Craig from Goodwe Solar Academy. In last video, we've introduced you how to make the settings for the inverters with LCD screen. So this time, I'm going to teach you how to configure the inverters without LCD screen using the app called SolarGo. It's pretty easy for you guys, and I'm sure you will learn it after you're watching this video. First, search SolarGo in Google Play or App Store and install it. Also, you can scan the QR code on the screen to download it as well. Also, make sure the Wi-Fi module is correctly installed. Then, turn on DC switch. The power light is on. But the red light is also on because I haven't turned on the AC power yet. Go to the settings. Find solar Wi-Fi with the rear 8 numbers of serial number. Enter the default code 12345678. A. After successful connection, go back to SolarGo. Great, the inverter connected is already shown here. Next step is role verification. Click the device and enter the default code 1234 to log in as installer. Okay, we are in. And here we can see some basic information like serial number and status. To see detailed parameters, click the parameters. We can see the current and the voltage of each stream and alarms showing the warnings. Here we have VAC failure, FAC failure, and utility loss because AC is off right now. Okay, let's go to the settings. System parameters and the grid connection parameters are what we need to set to make the inverter work. Click system parameters, then time settings. Choose auto time sync. Then go to grid connection parameters, safety option, and choose the right one. Here, I choose China. Also, choose star grid in grid connection. Okay, everything is ready. Let's turn on the AC power. The red light is off, and this blinking green light means the inverter is checking by itself. Okay, the inverter is working now. Let's refresh the main page. Great, we got the AC data as well. Also, back to the parameters. The alarms are all clear now. Okay. Let's check the rest of the settings. Operating parameters are related to the key functions of our inverters, including reactive power compensation and power limit. For the reactive power compensation, you could set reactive power needed in reactive power setting or the targeting PF value in power factor setting. For power limit function, you could set the required output percentage in power limit value or turn on anti-reverse to realize zero export to the grid. Characteristic parameters are some special functions according to the requirement of the system. You need to inquire us before activate them. Then, in communication settings, RS-485 setting is a function for third-party monitoring device. Wi-Fi network is to configure the inverter to wirelessly connect it to a nearby Wi-Fi router. So let's connect it to the router Goodwe Solar Academy. The monitoring light is blinking. Okay, the connection is established. Let's check the rest of the settings. In device maintenance, you can turn on or off the inverter using grid switch function in some maintenance scenarios. Debugging information is for our R&D to check some software problems. In firmware upgrade, we can check the current firmware version number of both DSP and ARM and click select to choose a firmware stored in the device to upgrade the inverter. At last, Wi-Fi module version and app version are normally important when we do the troubleshooting for you. So that's all. 
I hope you've already know how to use SolarGo to configure the inverter without the LCD screen. If you have any question, please feel free to contact us.